friends. We are currently on our way to Wales. We've decided to climb Penny Fan, so we're heading out there tonight and we're gonna do it in the morning. So we thought we'd take you along with us. We're currently at Exeter Services and we're about to do the final stretch with the help of some Krispy Kreme donuts to keep us going. So yeah, we'll let you know when we're there. This is our, actually our first night in our new VW Caddy Camper that we've kitted out with the help of my dad. Very excited. We'll let you know how it goes and catch up with you later on. Bye. here we made it we left at half past five we stopped for an hour at the services because we saw there was a big crash outside bristol so we thought we'll have some dinner and just avoid it it was smooth sailing after that and we've gotten here at about half nine and it's now 10 o'clock we've just set the bed up liam's trying to take a photo of the van because we're parked up at pond i'm gonna see hang on We're parked up at Pontardaff Car Park, forgive the horrendous Welsh pronunciation, which is at the foot of Penny Fan, which is what we're doing tomorrow. And these stars are out, it's so clear and beautiful, and this is the first time we've camped in our van, so Liam's trying to get a nice long exposure of the van with the trees and the mountain behind and the stars. So we'll see how that goes. I am cosied up inside. I'll give you a quick tour of the inside of the van. So this is our little bed. That's the back door that like, opens <laughs> this is our little beddy we've got a little bedside table here which was liam's idea he was very adamant on having this for when we slept and then there is actually a little cupboard in here i've got another little shelf here got my water on there and my torch and we've got our lights on and then this is the cab but we've got this big curtain up and it's blackout it's really good and you can't actually see the lights are on from the outside so we are officially a stealth camper which is cool and then that's the door the slide door yeah so that's us we are very much so bright under these lights golly fish i'm ready for bed i'm not sure what liam's doing so i'm gonna get into bed um i actually drove up in my pajamas so i could just get right into bed Look, i'm clever so we're gonna get some kip well i think we're gonna watch fleabag on the ipad first <laughs> and then we're gonna go to sleep and i'll catch you early doors when we are getting ready for our big walk tomorrow bye good morning gang we're up i think we woke up and well i woke up about a thousand times during the night but it's seven o'clock now we've been up for about half an hour um just getting ourselves some breakfast ready getting dressed um tons of people are here already they've arrived well we heard people at 4 a.m starting up the trail so yeah it's gonna be a busy old day i think but we're hoping that the weather's gonna brighten up we've got a really interesting cloud uh, hanging nice and low over the over the hill but we're gonna be good i'm sure liam is currently on breakfast duty we stole all of these from morrison's and then we paid for these from morrison's uh we've had some brioche as well and he's making me a fancy coffee because i'm gonna need the energy and then we're gonna eat up get warm and head up the hill that you see behind you here doesn't look very very good <laughs> on the camera <laughs> but it will be good promise We're off! Yippee! the top 
in f I don't know what time we made it in. We didn't like rush, but we took our time. So very lovely up there, but the visibility wasn't very good. So we're on our way back down now and we're gonna go have a cup of tea in the van and ring loads of campsites and see if any of them will let us have a shower. Liam, can you please tell all about your experience reaching the top? I can't feel my teeth, teeth and um, cold lips. <laughs> Officially at the bottom, back at the van. That was absolutely awesome. Loved it. A pretty easy hike as far as sure. hikes go. Uh, we're having a cup of tea now because what else are you going to do? We also ate just half of a crusty. <laughs> we ate half of a crusty cream. <laughs> we just had half of a crispy cream each, and we're going to get into our civilian clothing and chill, have a cup of tea, and then we're going to go and see my old pal Ellis and hang out with him for the afternoon, which I'm very excited about. Catch up in a sec. So we've all, we've all, we are all changed now and we're just sort of formulating a plan of what we're gonna do. Um, we don't know what time Ellis finishes work. I neglected to actually ask that question. So we're just gonna wait until he lets us know. and <laughs> We're just gonna mess around and sort of make our way toward Hay on Y, I think, and then just see what's on the way. Um, we're just checking out Liam's photos right now, see what he captured and then we'll probably be on the way probably we're in hay on why what a castle look at that boy nice. Sunday morning now. After wandering around Hay yesterday, we ended up meeting up with my friend Ellis and we went for a drink at a pub and then we came back to his house and met his dog and his family and had a really, really, really lovely, lovely evening. We went and got some chips and went for a little walk. Yeah, it's just been really lovely. So they were kind enough to let us uh, camp up in one of their fields last night. We slept so well so well and we're now up and we're getting ready to go uh, we're just having some coffee and some breakfast and we are going to head down like sort of head towards home but we're going to do a little detour uh, towards wells and wookie hole because we've got the whole of sunday so we thought we might as well make the most of it and do something fun and see something interesting so i will take you along for that obviously i've got some video of uh, us playing with hetty and so i'll pop that in here ready Ready? <gasps> Here she comes! Here she comes! Yay, Hetty! Good girl. Good girl. It's been a, just an amazing weekend so far. Really having such a lovely time. Yeah, we'll take you along to the rest of the journey. So we've just arrived at Wookie Hole. Uh, a witch told us that we weren't allowed to kiss in the cave. <laughs> that we'd get told off if she saw us. I'm sure it was there. Just playful banter. So we're off up to the cave now. Not really sure what to expect, to be honest. Never been here. Heard of it like as a child and then again randomly on a documentary the other day. So we thought we'd stop by. So it seems to be like wizard themed, doesn't it? Like yes. witchy wizard vibes. So open minds, off into the caves. Looking forward to it. We'll keep you updated. <laughs>
almost lizards. Not quite. No, not <laughs> that way. No, we're in there. This is all. Go either way. The wizard in the door. <laughs> just come out of Wookie Hole. Overall, really liked the caves, very interesting. But then there's this very confused, like weird array of buildings with just so much crap in it. You don't really know what's going on. I think it's, they're kind of trying to lock in on the history of the area, but then there's like a weird vintage, like okay. arcade and there's a mirror maze. And it's just all very, very, very weird. Great gift shop full of nerdy stuff. And then that's it. I think we paid 21 pound each. I'd have liked to pay 12 to 15 pounds for the privilege, but we liked it. We've, we're, we've left feeling good. And we're gonna go to Wells now and have a little mooch around. Don't think, no, you've never been to Wells, have you? I've been to Wells, I went for my friend's Hindu. It's lovely. So we're gonna go have a little mooch in Wells and then we're gonna make the journey home. Bye. Well, Wells. What a nice city. Tiny city. We've milked it though, so we're gonna head home now. We're officially gonna get on the uh, the old motorway and we're gonna head back to Cornwall. And we'll let you know when we're home. But we're both absolutely knackered. We had a coffee over lunch, and so I've got a little bit of... I've got a little bit of drive left in me. And that'll get us home. And then we can sleep. See you at home back in Cornwall. And just like that, we are home and absolutely shattered. But, oh, we were just talking to my parents and saying how it was literally just the best weekend. So, so lovely, so wholesome. So I feel so full and, I mean, not full as in full of food, although I am. My heart is full because I've got lovely friends in my life. I've got this lovely boyfriend. It was just fabulous. So great, I feel very, very good. Um, I'm so ready for a nap, but first got to get everything in the wash and then I'm going to grant myself the um, privilege of a nap after that. And I've got to do the food shop order. Oh, maybe I won't get to nap after all, but either way, amazing trip. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Please remember to like and subscribe. I post sporadically whenever I do something interesting. Um, but yeah, hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye!